Welcome back to 6.40 AM The Mix, and it's time for another AM, and this time, FM, band scan, commercial band scan, and that's coming up next. Okay, welcome back to 6.40 a.m. The Mix, and it's time to get on to the a.m. broadcast band. If you watch the channel, you know I've done this a few times and try to pull in some weak stations, but in this video, we're not only going to do a.m., we're also going to try FM band scan. I don't normally do FM band scan, not because I don't like FM, uh, but because uh, there's a lot of music on the FM band, and I try to stay away from that to get into uh, copyright issues, but... I was able to get a couple of uh, good stations in uh, on the FM band without music, so I figured I'm going to put them with the AM band. And uh, I do enjoy AM DXing and uh, now FM DXing because you use equipment you already have, an AM FM radio, and uh, if you are in the right spot, right time of day, uh, right uh, band conditions, you can uh, pull in some distant stations on the AM broadcast, especially the AM broadcast band, but you'd be surprised what you can do on FM, and that's what I'm going to try and show today. So let's fire up the radio and start doing some scanning. qui représente les intérêts des jeunes francophones de la province. Et il faut savoir que euh, les jeunes donc ont une alliée de taille au Conseil jeunesse qui est la sociolinguiste Suzanne Robillard. Elle a développé avec l'organisme une série d'ateliers sur les enjeux de la sécurité linguistique qui sont toujours euh, offerts à différents membres de la communauté, que ce soit les jeunes, les enseignants et les parents même. Et en fait, Suzanne Robillard a grandi sur l'île de Vancouver. Elle a fréquenté le système scolaire francophone en Colombie-Britannique. Elle est donc très familière avec l'enjeu de l'insécurité linguistique et les questions qu'elle se posait quand elle était jeune, eh bien, euh, elles l'ont poussée à faire un doctorat en sociolinguistique du français. Après euh, toutes ces études et, et cette expérience personnelle, elle a un message qu'elle veut transmettre à toute personne qui est touchée par l'insécurité linguistique, c'est continuer à parler français avec confiance. On écoute Suzanne Robillard. On peut étudier objectivement la structure de langue et déterminer qu'il n'y a pas de changement à la structure sous-jacente. 
prend son empreinte du mot de l'anglais. C'est-à-dire la langue va pas sortir. Et puis dès qu'ils savent qu'ils peuvent revendiquer leur façon de s'exprimer, ils savent qu'ils peuvent parler avec leurs amis comme ils veulent, incorporer un peu de français, incorporer un peu d'anglais, ben, du coup, ils vont l'utiliser plus confortablement. Et c'est ça qui est la clé à la survie, la vitalité d'une langue. L'utilise avec confiance. On fait ça comme heure, vous avez l'été? Oui. Euh, la collaboration des chercheurs avec qui euh, j'ai parlé. Euh, donc, la méconnaissance, euh, la diversité des accents, c'est toujours un défi. Donc, il faut continuer euh, de parler des accents qui diffèrent de ceux des milieux majoritaires. Pour les locuteurs, donc les principaux concernés, eh bien, c'est continuer à parler français et surmonter l'insécurité. Oui. Euh, les adultes, les parents, les not holding a mic i mean clearly it's it's a, a sound stage it's a you know studio audience kind of environment so it's mic'd but he's a stage trained singer and it, they have like a set he's in a bar for some reason and just he's just casually singing like it starts off and he's got an elbow on the bar and he's just kind of it's it's very much like a stage performance and it's It's just amazing to see someone just sing that clean and clear and casually. I don't, oh, man. Man was a talented man. And we started off with Robert Hume doing his Saturday Night Live monologue back when he was on Benson, which uh, I mentioned. It was a huge hit. <clears throat> Very popular. And I found that very interesting, specifically because I have been thinking about I thought that would be pertinent since uh, there was a different African American man hosting Saturday Night Live recently that of course made the news because of the content of what he said. Coming of their side, they put a face to every movement that is not what the majority of people think or feel in general. And that's kind of a problem. I don't think that we are that different. I think most people aren't crappy. I think most people want good things, might have philosophical differences about what's important and how to get good things, but I don't think people are as nefarious as one would be maybe think. Oh, just call 
claim on air and stay firm with their for your what ifs. I what if the moon eats my phone? I forgot it was my neighbor, stay farm is there. Call us at statefarm.com for a quote today. I just found some nice for us this day to get it. I said only a full. I can get stuff in there and I'm getting full test all three days. Not saving on bus has. My sweater from Cotton and Barrow and Sonoma is for life starting at 19... This Black Friday, Dell's Cyber Monday event starts now with deals on powerful business tech. The savings start now with up to 50% off on select business pieces powered by 12th Gen Intel Core processors. Don't forget special pricing on the latest monitors back to the front. Okay, there you have it. Some AM and some FM DXing band scan using an AM FM car stereo. Great way to use equipment you already have and uh, pull in some weak stations, especially at night, especially in the winter months. We first kicked it off with WHAS 840 out of Louisville, Kentucky. And then we went to 860 right next door w, uh, CJBC CJBC out of Toronto Canada French speaking which is strange a French speaker out of Toronto and then we went to the FM dial with WFMU 91.1 out of uh, New Jersey East Orange in uh, northern New Jersey and then we went down south to southern New Jersey 94.3 the point Jersey Shores uh, FM uh, uh, music channel so a couple of stations on the AM dial and a couple of stations on the FM dial and uh, we're able to do some AM uh, band scanned uh, DXing. Uh, like I said, uh, try it with equipment you already have, inexpensive. Uh, if it's a portable, just go outside to a clear open area and use your telescopic antenna. If you're in the car, obviously you're in the car, uh, AM or FM will work. Usually uh, in between the loud stations, uh, you, that's where you'll find the uh, weaker stations. That's my advice to you if you're going to try uh, AM DXing for the first time. All right, like and subscribe, comment below, and as always, we'll catch you next time right here on 640 AM The Mix. And uh, don't forget, check the description for the final word on this edition of AM FM DXing. Thanks for watching.